Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Angela. I'm a mom of two beautiful babes and I'm here to share my home, heart, and faith with you guys. And today's video is going to be some awesome practical stocking stuffer ideas for your toddler and baby for under $20. If you are excited about these stocking stuffers, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here on my little family. Like I said, today's video is going to be some stocking stuffer ideas and I believe that I have 10 stocking stuffer ideas for your toddler and 10 stocking stuffing ideas for your little baby. Before I get into this, I wanna make sure you go grab your pen and your paper or pull out your phone, get your notepad ready, to take some notes. But seriously guys, go pause this video, grab your pen, grab your paper, get your phone out because I promise you guys are going to love these stocking stuffer ideas and your kid's gonna love them as well. So we're just gonna jump right into these today. I will have timestamps below for you guys as well and everything that I can find will be linked in the description box for you. So we're gonna start off with your little babe and if your little babe is like a year or less it's perfect because you can get seriously the most practical items for your little one. Um, so for Zeke, what I'm doing is like all baby led weaning type stuff. He's actually turning six months old here in a few days, so we're gonna start more of that with him. And on that topic, the first thing that I have is bibs. I'm going to be getting more of these silicone bibs for him. There's a million and one different ones. I will have some of my favorites linked below. It just seems like the more like neutral you go or the more fancy you go, the more expensive they are. So I'm going to be getting him these. Now I will show you guys, I have tried out these and I have tried out these. These are cool because they're cloth, they're easy to wash in the washer and they catch everything on them. But like a lot of the stuff falls on the baby so it still makes a huge mess. These are nice because they're easy to hand wash they still catch most of the food and they Velcro on, but the Velcro gets worn out very fast and they stink really bad. Those are actually going in the garbage. So that's why I'm going with the silicone ones. Next thing that I have is these super cute little spoons that I found. Um, there is a brand that does these as well. They're like $11.99, but I found these ones that have like the little handle right there I think are cool, so I'm gonna order those for Zeke and they're only 10 bucks. I'm really excited for those. The next item that I have in the baby led weaning category for your little one is some sippy cups. Personally, this like 360 version is my favorite. They can drink from anywhere, so it's super great for them to learn out of. And these ones come apart much, much easier than the other ones that we have. Um, the other ones that we have are like first year brand or something, um, but these are my favorite, they're super easy to clean. So that is also another thing that you can get for your little one. Another thing you could do is this super cool little training cup here that I am actually going to purchase for Zeke. I remember with Alea when she was like seven months, we gave her a cup to drink out of and she did really well. So I'm excited to get those for him. Okay, so I think that's everything that I have for the baby led weaning category. The next category that we're gonna go into for babies is just like little, teething toys, um, other kind of just little toys that they can play with. So the first one that I have is their pacifiers. These are the only ones that Zeke would take. We tried a bunch of different ones. These are a little bit more expensive on Amazon. It's like 15 for a pack of two. So they're like about $7 a piece, but if your kid takes different ones, you could also do those. Um, these are my favorite type of pacifier clips. We had rope ones with Alea and they got so dirty and gross so fast. These are little silicone beads that they can chew on, so they're great for teething too. Zeke and Alea both love them. So this is another great idea you could get for your little one. Next thing that I have here is these super cool little books. They're like sensory books, but they have teething toys on them as well. Um, there's a whole pack of them. I will definitely have this one linked for you guys below. They like make noise, they say stuff on them. So these are gonna be great for Zeke, but they're also gonna be great for Alea because they came with this really cool big one that has a zipper, it has 
buttons, it has ties, it's so cool. So I'm really excited for that for her. Next idea that I have for your little one is some cute little teether toys. There's some cute like wood ones that you can get. Um, there's also some more silicone ones. I will also have some cool ones linked down in the description box for you guys as well. And another thing that I have that is like the ultimate most amazing thing ever if you haven't used it yet and you have a baby that's gassy and fussy and they're able to take grape water it's a perfect stocking stuffer and seriously it's so amazing we use this with Alea all the time because she was such a little gassy babe with the Zeke unfortunately we can't because of his kidney issues but great idea as well good stocking stuffer there um the other thing that you could do for your little one and this is kind of just like in a play category is like some little rattle toys there's a whole ton of different kinds it honestly all just depends on your preference there's a ton of montessori inspired ones they are a little bit more expensive because they're like wood and stuff like that and they're supposed to be better for the environment and last longer so that's why they're a little bit pricier like this kind of thing is what I'm talking about here. Just a little rattle, something that makes noise. He chews on this, he plays with this. He absolutely loves that one so much. I think that is everything we're gonna wrap up the baby category with. And then we're just gonna get right into those toddler stocking stuffer ideas. Again, with these ones, I'm going very practical. Things that she can use for toy like playtime and other items as well um i've always tried to be very practical with my gift giving i'm not going to stop that because they are my own kids so we're just going to get right into this when the first thing is bows hair stuff hair ties brushes any kind of cute little thing like that my idea this year i'm going to get her like a little backpack i just think it's such a cute little idea and she's like into more things now so i'm thinking eventually she's going to try to want to carry like a purse around so it's part of the reason i was going with the backpack but i'm just going to like fill it up with hair ties and bows and all the cute little girly hairy things because she's been loving to have me do her hair lately for myself it's not going to be a stocking stuffer but you could get any of those little hair type accessories as stocking stuffers for your kids you could also do tights socks slippers there's some really cute tights that you can get on Instagram. I will link one of my favorites below for you guys. Another great idea for your little ones is crayons. I found these actually really cool little twistable ones. They're like 10 bucks or so. I'm excited to get these for Leia because we have broken so many crayons. She's like obsessed with dumping her crayon bucket down. So it's always falling and they're breaking. And I've bought in like three different packs and we probably only have like half of them. So I'm excited to see how these twistable ones work out. If you have something like this, leave me a comment, let me know below. I would love to hear your guys' advice if you do have something like that. Or if you have any tips for some other kind of crayons that I could get for my little one so they stop breaking. Leave me a comment and let me know. Another great idea that you can get for your little ones is flashcards. There's so many different kinds. I am going to be getting some to keep like in the car because she's been getting like really antsy in the car. I think she's just bored probably of sitting there and she doesn't really want to play with the little toys anymore. Another great idea for a stacking stuffer for your toddler is this really cool little rainbow. It's great for open-ended play. I am excited to get this one. I kind of am excited to play with it myself. I found these really cool key toys that I'm going to get for Leia. She's been obsessed with our keys lately and she's constantly just like locking my car. So I'm going to try these out and see if I can replace it instead of just telling her like, no, you don't play with those. I'm going to try to be like, here, play with these instead because I am trying to limit the nose because I feel like I tell her no a lot. But these key toys look like they're gonna be a great idea. There's also these really cool little suction toys. You can like stick them to the windows, you can stick them to the walls, you can stick them to your mats on the floor, you can stick them to your face, they stick together. I think these are gonna be cool like to stack up on the table and stuff and see what cool things that her little brain can come up with. It's another cool like open-ended play there. Another great idea is this wooden play shape set. She can just practice out the shapes and figuring out what goes where. There's another cool thing you could do if you want to pay a little bit more, so it's going to be about double the price. You could get it personalized with their name, which I think is a great idea because they're not only 
using their brain to like put the letters in the shapes but they're also learning out how to spell their name at the same time so I think that's cool it's like a win-win so if you do have a little extra and you want to spend a little extra that personalized shape puzzle thingy would be a great idea another idea that you could get for your little ones is board books there's like seriously a million and one board books I think they're great for little toddlers because we had regular books out and Alea like ripped pages off of them like right away. So all of those paper ones are up high now so she can't get to them. So we have a ton of little board books around. This is like a board book that I'm talking about. She's obsessed with like bending them backwards and these are nice because they kind of stop that from happening so they don't completely get destroyed. But any kind of little book like this. Another great idea that I have for your child's stocking stuffer is these super cute little lace beads. I'm actually excited to get these for Alea to see if she can lace them on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one for Christmas and throw it in her stocking. Okay guys, sorry, my camera died. I think that is everything that I have for the stocking stuffer ideas. I'm pretty sure we got up to 10 babies or more and 10 toddler ideas. I need a few more things for Zeke, so if you have any more cool little toys that would be great for him, leave me a comment below, let me know. If you guys like these stocking stuffer ideas, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed my content, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in my next video. I love you all so much. Bye.